The one thing I have not mentioned, Evan Dizabazel hasn't mentioned it yet. I'm actually very excited for this. <sighs> Yo! Cause if I'm the ocean, you're the rain. We only need each other, baby, you know we're the same. What's up, besties? Good morning. I have a mountain of work that I need to do, but I was just sitting here eating my breakfast. Starting my day with a bowl full of prunitra. Yum, yum. And catching up on some work, sending emails and stuff, all of which is done. I'm gonna head out there and I am gonna clean up. Yesterday, when I came back from the shops after my mom and my brothers left, I was so tired. I was honestly so tapped out. I didn't even have the energy to pick up the vlog or, like, you know, say they love. Not, none of that. I had nothing left. So I basically got home and I, I passed out on the couch for a little bit. Then I went outside. When I stay awake, I passed out again. Eventually, mm -hmm. I came in the house. There was a basil. What was he doing? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember what he was doing. But eventually, the kids were like, we want to go to bed. We're tired. Everybody was in bed and knocked out by 7 p.m. Wow. Literally, that's how tired we were. But we had so much fun. It's just proof to show how fun the weekend was, which I am all for. But right now, Listen, what's left of the weekend is an entire balloon mess, oh no. which I'm going to go clean up because if I don't, it's just going to sit there forever and it's going to keep bothering me and I cannot afford to have that happen. So that's what we're going to do. I can't say. Oops. It's funny. Every time I don't wear my glasses, it's fine. And then I put them on and then when I take them off, everything is all blurry. It's so weird. <sighs> Who's farewell? Huh? I love, 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 love this picture. So cute. Like I was saying before the message disturbed me, I need to reset that part and just take down the balloons and put my side bed where it's supposed to be because I did use my side bed as a kickstand because you gotta do what you gotta do. So let's go do that. I need to pack because our trip is literally tomorrow and I haven't packed. And I just realized I need to go shopping for Gamma's clothes because homegirl does not have enough clothes that fits. So I gotta go do that, but I'll do that later because we do have an eye appointment. Like she's getting her eye test done because she has that sometimes she has to squint and doesn't see the board. And I'm just like, your parents wear glasses. It's kind of sort of inevitable. <laughs> so I'm just gonna get her eyes tested. I need to get a new frame of glasses. Like I need new frames because this is what, I don't know if you guys can see, but this here, my glasses are basically messing up my skin. Oh because no! The gold plate on these glasses, the gold plate on these Hugo glasses is coming off. I don't know if you can see here, it's no longer gold plated, as well as inside here. This is what's irritating my skin the most. They're cute. They're giving serial killer vibes. What? Because all the serial killers on Netflix documentaries wear glasses like this. Pure coincidence, by the way. Don't get ideas. But I do need to change my frame. So I want to get like a plastic frame. I'm literally like, I'm not even gonna be like, oh, this is so cute. No, no. I need a plastic frame. One that's gonna keep my skin happy and we're just gonna keep it at that. It's very annoying. It gets super painful. It, like every time I sweat, you can feel the irritation. Initially, they used to irritate me here. almost poked my whole entire eye. I don't know if you guys remember, my skin used to be a little black over here because I was getting so irritated by the glasses and I just thugged it out. But now I'm like, oh, you know what? No, let's let's not thug out things anymore. Let's just get a plastic frame and call it a day. So that's what we're going to be doing later today. It's half 10. I'm literally going to pack for everybody later. In fact, it's probably smart to do it now because if we're going to be going to the shops, I'll know who needs what. God damn it. Okay. Popping these balloons is so loud, but I just quickly cleaned up this side. It looks pretty darn clean, but now I just lost my toothpick. Oh no! The one I used to pop the balloons. Where is it? I mean, it's just a regular toothpick. It's nothing to write home about, but I don't really, I don't really want to get a new one. 
They're balloons everywhere also. They got blown away by the wind and they're in every single room. While I'm here, I need to go ahead and remove this. Nola absolutely loved waking up to this. Walking through like, ta-da. She really enjoyed it. But it must go now. I can't even reach. I might not need to reach. But it's so fragile. It's kind of ripping as I'm pulling it. Um. It's the small things that make the kids happy, I'm telling you. My little door fringe was the highlight. <laughs> Just put that in there. Where is my toothpick? The only balloon I'm keeping is this four. This is going. I'm done cleaning up the house. It's actually so peaceful and quiet. I have got this that I must throw in the bin. I will do that later because I don't want to go downstairs. I'll actually do it when I go get the kids. Just want to lock the doors because you don't know who's creepy crawling outside about to let themselves in when I'm not watching. It looks very, very clean. Even the kitchen. So clean. And the curtain is just doing the most with a little breeze. What I want to do right now though is I'm going to take off my clothes. I went a little bit shopping. I medium shopped for myself. Oh. I didn't really buy a lot of things, but when my mom was shopping at Willie's, I'm going to walk backwards because the lighting. Oops. When my mom was in Willie's shopping, she had seen a few things at Willie's. I'm a Willie's and Zerus. And I was like, you know what? Don't you want to check it when you come to the site? Like, yes, you see them, but try and see if there's other options where you get to Willie's. And we went to Santa City. Plus, the how to and ride. The whole point was to give her the how to and ride experience, all the fun stuff. So I said, you all shop when you get here. So we went to Elise and while she shopped a few things caught my eye and I was like oh I like those let me buy those <laughs> they literally all look the same huh? they look the same but I'll show you now and then I just got this package for I believe this is for the campaign I don't know I hope it is because if it's not I don't know what's gonna happen because if they deliver and we're not here I don't know what's gonna happen it is for the campaign. Oh my god, they're gonna freak out. So cute. It's just gonna add on to their Paw Patrol collection. I 100% appreciate all the love and the support that you show us on this channel, on Instagram, everywhere else. I have a TikTok account. Follow us on TikTok. I'm still just having fun with that, repurposing some content, but also just trying to make like TikTok original content kind of thing. I do wanna urge you guys that, especially on Instagram, when I post pay partnership posts, I really appreciate like the love and the comments and the engagement, the sharing, all of the fun stuff. It really goes a long way and it obviously doesn't cost you anything. So please, you guys, whenever you see a paid partnership on my post, please just engage with that. Even if it's not paid partnership, honestly, just engage with the content. I really appreciate you guys for that. If I go on and rumble forever, please just engage, comment, like, share all the fun stuff, save. Instagram apparently likes the saving thing. Right now, Instagram has kind of placed me in this little space where all my videos, they're getting like major traction and all my stills, like pictures, they're not getting as much traction. They're not like pushing them to my followers as much. But I also enjoy, you know, sharing stills like carousel and pictures and stuff. But Instagram is just like, yeah, no, next to please you guys. I don't like begging and asking for engagement but at this point I feel like I should <laughs> anyway let's carry on I don't I honestly have no idea what we're gonna do this we're gonna have to take this with us how are we though how are we gonna do it um. maybe we'll do it tomorrow morning before we leave if we could do that that would be genius let's move into the clothing haul okay let's do that it's two bags don't be alarmed they both have four another pair of pants is this one that I'm wearing this is from Woolworths I literally bought it today and wore it tomorrow. Since I mentioned Woolworths, let's start off with the Woolworths. I'm just gonna dump them here. The only reason why I have a giant bag is because I, I was buying a gift bag and it was big. And the cashier was like, should I fold it? I'm like, no, why would you want to fold the gift bag? Who does that? That's why I got the giant one because it could only fit in that. So I got these pants. How you pronounce them? only lord knows but these are them and they're white leg which is so cute this is the denim version of this denim one that i'm wearing it kind of looks like a chino the one i'm wearing but it's actually denim it's really like huge which i absolutely love it is so comfortable because let me tell you doing the school run in the morning is 
so stressful not because the kids are not getting in the car or they're eating their breakfast too slow no that part we have on lockdown everybody knows what they need to do when the alarm goes off they know we have to go I, yes i have set an alarm on my phone every single day for 5 to 7 a.m when that goes off we have to go drop whatever you're doing and let's keep going anyway i digress the point i'm trying to make here is it is so stressful because deciding what to wear every single morning to do a school run is insane and the school run for us it's not like the teachers are waiting by the parking lot to grab the kid out of the car so we don't have to like get out of the car no you have to park the car take your kids walk all the way into school drop one in one class walk all the way across drop the other one in the other class so you can't avoid people so yeah i did need to get something comfortable because there's no way i'm squeezing into a skinny jean in the morning to do the school run no thanks no and i got this little skirt it, it's literally just a skirt there's really nothing to it it's this material super comfy super stretchy a little see-throughy mm. but we'll have to put tights underneath it i got it with the strappy black and white top I'm not a big fan right now of the cut i wish it was a v-neck but i tried it on and it looked cute so that's that in fact now that i'm sitting here doing this i remember i did shoot a few clips in the fitting room Anyway, and then I got these white leg pants. You guys know I'm for white legs. They literally the same material. Well, not not really. They kind of similar materials to the white leg pants I have from Moody's. These ones have pockets. Pockets. They are amazing and high waisted, which is nice. Another stripe of tea. <laughs> it's long sleeves it's got a little detail here on the shoulder but honestly i didn't even notice this when i was at the shop i just noticed it right now and then i picked up some few earrings which it's willie's earrings i'm not expecting magic and they are clip-ons i've never worn a clip-on earring before so this should be interesting the only reason why i picked the clip-ons is because sometimes these earrings that i love so much they hurt my ears because i kind of have super sensitive ears i got these ones they look like that and then these ones cutie patooties and then these little hoop ones it's a small hoop that's all i got from woolies and then from fashimi actually is it all i got from woolies no on a separate woolies run i got nolly knows this dress because we're going to be doing a photo shoot the beach photo shoot so i got her this dress it's literally exactly the same as the one she has but she has it in mint green not mint green like teal color it's very light green and then i picked up two swimming costumes not that i need them but 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 what i realized is when we're swimming when we are underwater with our osmo action camera the footage looks so much brighter and so much better and so much more lovely and like gorgeous when you're wearing a bright colored swimming costume so i went and got two different bright colored costumes for myself because y'all know i love black and as a result most of what i own is black which is exhausting and the footage doesn't it just looks very dull i saw when we went to sensity with gum when did we go to sensity but we went to sensity with gum and my mom and i was swimming and gum was wearing this rainbow film costume and oh my god it looked amazing i was low-key jelly i made a mental note i was like next time we go swimming together we're both wearing bright color swimming costumes so that's that then for shani i was actually looking for a dress for our beach photo shoot i don't want to wear the white one that i have even though i know it would work i just don't want to wear it because i already wore it when we did the shoot at Sitsugama. i literally wore it that one time i've never worn it again ever since but but I didn't want to wear it again this time so I went into Fushini because Fushini does have a few different options when it comes to like dresses and stuff but then I got distracted instead of buying just one dress for the photo shoot I ended up buying a few other things so first up is this one this is the denim version of the green dress I have the one the same one that matches my mom's <laughs> yeah striped tee I think it's really cute I got one in orange and then another one in blue i think they're gonna be so relaxed and fun they're nice and flowy they're not like they're not gonna expect much from me if that makes sense this is the dress i'm gonna be using for our beach photo shoot i should fit it now because i didn't fit it at the shop i literally refused to fit it because i was like i'm too tired so i just needed something beige no something off white so that's that. Gamu picked up this little crop top for herself because crop tops are still onious. And these little pants, which I think are cute. They're so adorable. 
Cotton pads, the oval ones, because I feel like those circle ones are so small. A little blush brush, which I'm not going to be using for blush. We'll see. And that's basically it. So what I'm going to do, there's balloons in here. I don't know how these balloons got in here. Oh, no. I'm going to start laying out clothes for everybody. So I need to make a mental note of what I need to buy when I go to the shop a little bit later. I haven't even started editing the vlog. <sighs> I need to figure that out in my head. I need to actually hop on getting the editor that I said I needed. I don't know why I keep procrastinating on getting it getting an editor i don't understand interesting times ahead let me do this i'm not gonna vlog it because i need to be focused to be honest sometimes i always pride myself and be on some like i can multitask this that the other thing but the reality of the matter is when i do multiple things at the same time <laughs> i'm 10 times slower so i'm not gonna vlog it i'm just gonna lay the clothes and then i'll show you guys what i have laid out i'm also starving and i need to eat before i go time's running out it's almost one i which gives me a little over an hour before i have to go unless Daisy Basil comes back which i don't know if he will because he is at work so we'll see we'll see let's lay out the clothes and take it from there these are my outfits wednesday thursday friday that's for the photo shoot i'm just gonna pack one more outfit in case it's cold i almost forgot to send the emails to school thankfully i remembered while well, there's still time i forgot so close let me charge this it's just the emails to teachers just to let them know that really not are not going to be coming well all three of them actually but really not specifically because the cafe lunches they sort of like plan them according to the number of kids that are coming to school obviously i mean it's not a train smasher and they even if they don't show up it's just i just prefer to let them know really not are not going to be going to school pretty much chances are from tomorrow until like the beginning of term two yeah because when we come back from Durban we have another trip so chances are they will not be going to school until next term what? it just sunk in and I'm realizing just how much work that's gonna be oh send help please send help I don't know if Dizzy Basil's gonna be doing the school run. Like, it's literally like almost quarter to two, and he hasn't called to say he's gonna do it or not. Oh, no. So, I'm gonna eat. Just warmed up my food, burned it a little. That has been my thing these days, I guess. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on, but I'm not enjoying this burning food phase that I'm in. I don't like it. So, I'm gonna eat, and then I'm gonna call him because I don't wanna call him and then eat panicked and not enjoy my food. I'm gonna enjoy my meal. Then I'm gonna call him and find out what's the deal and then take it from there. This was my lunch. Rice, fried meat, a little bit of salt, and the chakalaka. My mom taught me how to make this chakalaka recipe. Oh my god, it's so quick and easy, but so delicious. Bonk. This is Gamma's clothes. Things are looking up. It would be ideal if I got her like two little pairs of shorts. That would be like life changing because she only has long pants. This is long pants. That's also long. That's the short, but I don't know if it's going to work with that t-shirt and then the long pants here in case it's cold. So if I could get her the shorts, that would be solid gold. And then really not a pretty much set. I swear going places with kids is, is an entire adventure. Okay. It looks like we're moving out, but it would be ideal if I found another one more swimming costume. I don't know if these ones still fit, to be honest. Really, it's pretty sad for the most part. He's, he's pretty all good to go if i can't find her some costume she'll just have to squeeze in these ones mm. but this is what they take in with and then this is our photo shoot clothes i'm just laying them out here because i wanted to see what dizzy would wear i don't want him to be matching really so he's gonna have to wear dark peach golf shirt i'm gonna get it for him now and then we are good to go i need to hang that up because i'm not gonna be using that so while gamma needs this extra shorts I need underwear. <laughs> I haven't shopped for my underwear in so long. I actually don't even remember the last time I bought underwear for myself. So I'll see if I can get some cute ones. I wanted to buy, you know, those individual bags that you can just stuff the clothes and you put those in the suitcase. I wanted to get those because then it's easier to label it like this is for Dizzy, this is for me, this is for Gamu, really, and Nolo. But then I didn't order them on time. So we'll just have to make do for this trip. And then the next one, we'll just pack them, we'll pack our clothes in those bags so that you can just grab out the small bag and find your clothes instead of like turning the suitcase upside down, which is typically what we do. And it's very stressful because packing is not fun. Anyway, let me eat lunch and stop rumbling. It's already 10 to 2. Jesus. Where's the time going?
laundry is hanging so things are looking up i only have one more load it's in here but i'm not going to wash this until tonight once we have what we're wearing inside so that when we go tomorrow ooh, i left the fridge open the whole time so that when we go tomorrow we don't have any laundry it's 20 to 3 p.m i have literally 20 minutes before i gotta go dizzy basil is getting really nolo gamma comes off at half past three so i will leave here around quarter past three okay that gives me about 30 five minutes i'm gonna start editing so long and then get a head start on that but so far things are looking great i am actually very happy with the progress i've made all the clothes are sorted it's just a matter of packing them into the suitcase which is great i haven't packed the toiletry because we need to get shower gel let me actually just do this let me put this in my checker 60 order my checker 60 basket because i will forget so i need to pack toiletries i need to pack that's it that's it that's all i need to pack because food wise we'll, we'll check a 60 when we get there the one thing i have not mentioned even dizzy basil hasn't mentioned it yet i'm actually i'm actually very excited for this the kids think we are driving down to durban but in fact we are flying down to durban i am a nervous mess because you all know i hate flying or maybe you don't know but i hate flying i would rather drive for 20 hours straight than to fly but we're gonna fly because we flew the other day when we were going to durban for the cruise and it was terrifying but i remember thinking oh, it's sad that the kids haven't experienced flying especially really nolo gamu has i don't think she remembers though because the last time she was in an airplane she was five years old i don't think she remembers so we're gonna be flying down i'm very excited to see them experience it like to live that moment through their eyes i'm very excited we're gonna tell them today i had said we'll tell them tomorrow but i think i can't wait i don't know how to keep it in and i'm worried that tomorrow i'll be so overwhelmed and overstimulated that by the time i tell them i won't be patient enough to handle the excitement so i want to tell them now so we can like simmer in it and i can hear their thoughts and what they're thinking what they're looking forward to and all this stuff i'm so excited for that we're gonna go to the slow lounge and they're gonna use the little bank cards to get themselves in it's gonna be so cute i cannot wait i cannot wait i'm smiling like an idiot just thinking about it even though i'm terrified for the actual flight but the lead up to that moment is just too precious i can't wait it's 15 after three i gotta go dizzy doesn't have a key so i'm gonna leave the door unlocked are you ready yes how are you feeling nervous and excited oh yeah what if i get what? glasses yeah <laughs> what if you can't see are you ready to start your journey wearing glasses yes yeah but i gotta make sure not to get those ones that hurt you yeah i think the kids frames are all plastic frames anyway because it's middle yeah i'm a little nervous for you though wearing glasses is an entire mission gotta keep them clean gotta wash them Wait, but how will i know when to use it do i use it on the projector or for reading all the time when you're at school when you're reading okay yeah some people say that their glasses is meant for seeing far away or their glasses is for reading yes there's reading glasses and then there's like prescription glass mine here at the bottom mm -hmm. is for seeing closer here like when I look down at the top here, I was seen further away. <laughs> Try these ones. They're so tiny. Is this the kids' one? Oh my days. Do you want to change your mind? Hmm. I'm going to try to do it. All the time, and your nose get oily, and they start falling, and they pinch your nose. And That's why here, you see here, yeah. there's no more color. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, because I'm always. This one is so far apart. I don't understand. What about this one? Mhm. Mm mmm. They're cute. It's giving. yeah that's why i don't like those frame because these little things here sometimes they move like with mine when i got my glasses they're perfectly fine and then they move yeah yeah but the plastic ones will always just stay they will slip when you get oily but you can like push them back in does it sweat mm -hmm. does it feel small yeah. 
I need to keep these in the car. The other day I really had a headache in the morning and I had to give him a Pilato yeah, pill. Oh, it was quite the adventure. <laughs> yeah, so we need a panetta, we got some foam buff, and then sunscreen, and then stuff over there. I think that's it. I think we're good to pay. Let's go see this side. Oh. In the clothing side, Nala Serum costume, maybe they got. Kyan's and works hard every day and always has time to play. Marching my way to find my path, overthinking my way of math. Helping my family all the time, every time I have to rhyme. Loving and losing a family member is sad. Overcoming my fears makes me glad. Yo! And can you see what it spells? Daddy? I can't see, Levi. I need glasses. Come on, hello. Whoa! Yes! What is it? Daddy? 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 Where's your water bottle? This is beautiful. This yeah. it. No way. No way. We need it with her handwriting. Can I have a sip on your cup? Hold on, hold on. Yeah. I'm filling it up so we can share. How do you like it out of 10? A million. Black. It's a bit matchy matchy. Black is king, right? Black is king. Guys, can you please come here? No, no, really. I want to tell you guys something. You guys, do you know that? Where are we going tomorrow? Beach! Yeah? Are you excited? Yeah. yeah. Me too. But guess what? 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 How are we getting to the beach? <sighs> on a plane? We're going on a plane! Yeah! We're going to go on an airplane, buddy! <laughs> no? We're going to go on an airplane! Hopefully they serve us. <laughs> They serve as what? Yep. But you know who are my classes. Yeah. So. Like you gotta like, yum. 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 Why is the lip gloss on her eyebrows? That's the real question. Oh. What happened to Nola? So who's ready for an airplane? Me. Me. So is it gonna be Bruno's yeah. first time? Yes. Yeah. first time. Or really second time, but he doesn't remember the fact. Yo, don't kick the curtains, yeah? Uh-uh, do you remember my ball? Ah! Wait, wait, wait. Where are we gonna sleep? Where are we gonna sleep? At the beach. Each na 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 na. But tonight we're sleeping on her bed. Bats na 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 na. It's Daddy Basil's turn. Yes, General, yes. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna fit. I literally picked one that I think would fit. <laughs> How did I walk past this? No way. I need all the lights on. On on the lights. On on the lights. What? What is that? This is a cordless vacuum cleaner. And, and look at this one. <gasps> and this is a what is this? A steam mop? What? What does it do? <coughs> this one is fancy schmancy. All right, guys, I need to vacuum. Like this. This one. Yeah. When you push it, yeah. the other one steams. Is that so? Yeah. Wow. <gasps> Daddy Basil got me this. Okay, let's do an unboxing. Can you move your toys out the way so I can vacuum, please? I'm gonna Thank move you. I'm gonna also vacuum. I'm gonna also wash the one. I want to help you Can I just enjoy my stuff? We're gonna first open up this. I like the color. It is so me. Thank you, honey. It is so exciting! It looks like a coffee machine. No, it's a vacuum cleaner. It's a vacuum cleaner. Okay, so let's why the box was small. I didn't even need to read the manual. 
it's still sealed. I have a cutlass vacuum cleaner. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Also, you know you're getting old when this really excites you. You get a vacuum cleaner as a gift and you're just like, what? Yes! Actually, actually when you press this button, it seems. Is it seems? Yeah. Whoa. All right, let's put it over there. And what? what? It's that you can iron it. I love This is better than rubber back. Wow. Tonight we're running on the right track.